suddenly we understand St. Francis of Assisi, when, what he told his disciples when he woke up, which is what you're looking with, attention, which is, what is attention? It's a, a, the localized awareness. And when it's attention, it pays attention to attention, which is the only thing, if you'll notice yourself, everyone in this, this room can notice it right now. What's the one thing that attention has never paid any attention to? And the answer is what? It's attention itself. Attention, we've always used attention as our tool, and it is a, a very good finding tool. That's how I find my shoes, my socks, my, my phone, or whatever else I misplace, is, quote, I put attention on it. Well, what do I mean? Do, do I actually put attention? Do I pull a, a pit, attention out of the box and set it free like we would a dog chasing a lost child? I mean, or whatever, or, or, isn't, or is just the, the statement I've, I've lost my phone. It's a cry. Uh, it's, it's, that's an alert. Attention doesn't have to be told. It'll immediately go look for the phone until it either finds it or you've called off the heart. Because you think that you have dismissed it from mind and that you'll just get a new phone. But two days later, you'll go, oh, God, I'm right. I put it right under the cushion. And um, so the... What we do here, and we've just done it, we've just done it, is the problem with attention is that the reason attention doesn't pay any attention to attention is that it never notices attention because it is attention itself. So when attention notices, ah, I'm the light of consciousness. I'm consciousness itself. I am that light. Attention is the attention is the is the flashlight amid the floodlight of consciousness. Attention is the beam. The floodlight is the stream, we could say. Or the streaming. Beaming and streaming. So it's really coming all the way home. This is coming back, back, back to where, okay, let's see. I used to think I was I was a Fred and now I've come to, 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 to been told I'm not a Fred. So I don't know what I am, but I, apparently I'm not a Fred. And I've been told I used to, th but I was thinking that Fred was this body. I've been told also that I'm not this body. I'm not a Fred, I'm not a body. If I really believe that, what if I were to just treat all the teachers as if they weren't giving me mystical hoodoo to figure out, but if they were, if they were just telling it to me straight, right? Which is, you are attention itself. And attention doesn't need to find attention. It just needs to notice that it is attention. And the reason we hear so often in non-dual circles that the seeker does not wake up is that the seeker is just a confused attention. And But it's confused for a very good reason. It's been trained to believe that it's singular. In this, I want to say singular, that it's distinct from, that this is my consciousness. That's what we all talk about is my consciousness. And, um, but, you know, funny the other thing is when we fall down and we knock ourselves out, we don't, we, we just usually say, I lost consciousness, not, I lost my consciousness, sir. It's, I just lost consciousness. And, and that's kind of a recognition that it's not owned. And so we don't have consciousness. Consciousness has us. Because this sense of being is not other than consciousness. The sense of being and consciousness are the same, in essence, the very same thing. Notice that the that what can you remember? This is a rhetorical question. What can you remember prior to the Hannah unit's birth? Nothing. 
Uh -uh. Same here. There can be some confusion within the dream of other things. Uh, we're just reporting what's plain and true here. Is that there's nothing to be remembered prior to birth because there's no one to remember it. Only when a being sounds somehow, however it's done, how, who knows, however it happens is a better way to put it. When a being manifests within this consciousness, this when it comes to be within manifestation, now we have a vehicle for consciousness. And uh, this is not conscious, this is a little plug, and we this is not conscious as we would certainly <laughs> normally think of it, but it, it is consciousness. This is consciousness appearing to be a little plug. Because what we're talking about here, when we talk about oneness, it can be so confusing because we're all expecting to find oneness, hook up with oneness, merge with oneness. But in order for something to merge with oneness, wouldn't it have to start out as two-ness? So it wouldn't even be oneness. Oneness can't merge with oneness because there's only oneness. The only thing that can happen is that if it's a, you know, and it's wonderful if it's a seeking unit, is that the seeking unit can come to, to, to see, oh, just what St. Francis said, what I'm looking with, this attention, this consciousness, is what I'm looking for. And it's a dog chasing its tail. So realization is at first, it's just a noticing. It's just noticing, oh, I've been looking for it and I'm it. And, you know, I can I, I sometimes do a test with people. So, like, um, do you agree with one, the, the concept of oneness? Yes, I do. Well, so do I. I've been believed in it for years. That's the reason I got into non-duality to begin with. Is that kind of made sense to me? And they'll tell you, yeah, me too. I say, well, since we both believe in oneness, and uh, uh, my, my question to you is, now listen to this carefully, everybody. It's a good question. Is there any way, given that there's oneness and only oneness, or consciousness and only consciousness, is there any way that you can tell me, that you can report to me that you are not it? No. And there's no wiggle room whatsoever in that question. If you're trying to wiggle, it's because there's part of you that has looked down the waking up line and said, oh, that ends in unemployment. I'm out of here. And but there's not enough willingness to accept the unknown. See, I want, I want to wake up, but I, what I won't mean by that is I want more of the same, only different. <laughs> huh? It's unavailable, I'm afraid. So, not that there's anyone to make a decision, but it may feel like a decision is being made to, instead of just being so damned smart and knowing everything, what if I were to question things instead? Like right now, there, there may be some of you here who believe this is a Fred Davis and that it's talking to you, a distinct being, two distinct beings, many distinct beings, untrue. So the easiest way for me to notice if I'm, I'm not a Fred Davis, I'm not this body, I've seen that through experimentation, everything. I, I, well, you can't be the body because the body doesn't exist as a separate entity. There's only oneness. These bodies, so to speak, these, uh, these images, the that the, the, the they appear within where do they appear they all appear within space don't they they all all of these things appear in space everything appears in space every object appears in space but we constantly belittle space and praise the objects but the objects come and go these objects come and go space does not come and go how many spaces do you count well 
last time I counted spaces, I counted one. And when I count consciousness, the best I can do is count one. So the consciousness that I've heard so much about is this ordinary consciousness that's already present in every being here can't not be because you believe or you feel that you're here. You may wish you were somewhere else, but there's nowhere else for you to be. No matter where a unit goes, it will always be here. If you and I go to fly to Paris right now, when we get there, we'll call it here and we'll call this there. This here will have just, no, 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 this is not here. <laughs> That's there. I come from there and now I'm over here. And so we just change the linguistics to go with the, with, with the, the, the myth, the ever-changing myth of the, the, the being. Because there is just being. If there's that, I won't even report that there's just being because the best, most honest thing I can report is the sense of being. Ask yourself right now. Some of you are new, so ask this question. It could change your life. Which is more true for you to report to me right now? I am, or there's a sense of being, which is more true. If your mind even touched on I am, how do you know of that feeling? How does that feeling arise? It cannot rise without the sense of being. You know what's here without the sense of being? Nothing. We're back to void. So, what does nothing look like? It doesn't look like anything. It's just, it's, it's just, it's, an, it's just, an, it's an absence of presence. This is presence. 